getting yeah. me, but she's hey. she's trying to figure out what's happening. But I have headphones on, so it's like I can't talk to you. Become yeah. a Patreon and log in. <laughs> wow. All right. So I mean, starting with you, um, say hey to the people, and I'm actually gonna let you run this part. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick some things over to you because I still consider you the master of ceremonies for all things bomb. I, I picked the wrong night to get drunk and just let the show go, huh? Okay. Uh, hey, guys. How are, how's everyone doing? Thank you for being a Patreon. Thank you to subscribing. Count the things. Patreon.com slash count the things. If somehow you found a, a bootleg link to get in here, first of all, fuck you. But second of all, might as well go ahead and, like, contribute, man. We're Wait, putting on I need a, a to interrupt of- because my nigga Trey just showed up looking oh, like no. ghost, his ghost face killer. <laughs> Oh, no. Going on. Tony, Tony. Ghost. 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 I appreciate you. Hey, it's, it's, it's hella cold. I'm in Are you here? Sunday. Okay. Okay. Sunday. Yeah. Cherche Latre. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, go ahead. I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, I say it. Say, thank you to the Patreons. Thank you for being Patreons. If you got here on a bootleg, fuck you. But also, go ahead and sign up, man. Patreon.com slash count the things. You get a lot of great talent. Uh, actually, on today's episode of Bomb that came out today, me, Trey, and Jerv went through a look back at the year, month by month, all the big things that happened. Oh, my God. How? You, like, how do you do that? I, I ain't going to give you all the secrets of how much work I had to do. For, for change, but but the short version is this. These are some of the things that happened in 2020, and it's not COVID. Wednesday service started. We had Crazy Sexy Cool. We had uh, Growing Up the Same. All these things started in 2020 as this lineup has kind of exploded, and uh we have a lot of things to be happy about from a content perspective for you the listeners for us the providers and we're doing these live shows on zoom they've been fun they've been great you guys have been able to interact we've been able to answer some questions we've been able to have some jokes at tom's expense because of his hat that remains firmly up atop his head every time he's bald trey has been working out he's trying to let us know that b is still re- sponsored by bel air <laughs> No, Trey, yeah, you do. Trey, you do have those Dwight Howard shoulders going on right now. Yeah, no, yeah. Prepare for a role. And yeah, I'm, telling you, G, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Listen, listen. First of all, I had to go buy this tank top because I ain't wore tank top in like five years. Wow. And also, 177 a muscle. I'm telling you, 2020. I'm knocking 2022. Oh. I'm knocking shit out. So me and Jason are gonna be back in year. 2022. <laughs> hey, nah, because it's all. Listen, first of all, I'm not even gonna play myself and Nate Robinson myself and be out right. here just right. fake sparring. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna really be testing chins in 2021, the late time though. So you know. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. okay. So at, some yeah. point, at some point, it's gonna be a bomb bout. Like we're gonna be staging a match on. on- no, nah, we ain't doing all that. But just anybody just get disrespected, then we just gonna be just out here just you know. Okay, I, listen. I've been, I, I've been working out every day. I'm, I'm brolic. It's its own. <laughs> Who I knew that Trey was this tatted? You said what? Who knew that Trey was this tatted? Oh, like Nipsey oh. say, bro. I'm tatted from my from my neck to my <laughs> yo, foot. Dog. Yo, Trey's not only tatted, but Trey also has like tats of like cartoons he enjoyed yeah. momentarily. He's got That's like a Bart Simpson tat. Trey's like, I watched this show once. Let me go ahead and <laughs> put it on me. Bart, Bart Simpson, Rick and Morty. I got Tupac, Mike Tyson. Uh, got some, got some more levels. shit coming. So wait, <laughs> nah. not, not to sidetrack, but at this point, does it just get to a point where like deciding to get a tattoo isn't that big a deal? Like ink is ink because I have no tattoos. And yeah, if you, if you say let's go get a tattoo, I'm gonna go with you for your first one. Na- Na- Naima, let me tell you right now, it's never a big deal for Trey because you see how black he is. <laughs> Look, I, I, got, I got hand dude. tats, rib tats. I like. know these tattoos exist because I've been next to Trey, but like right here on the Zoom, I have no idea. You can, you can, you can, see, a, you can see a few. You can see like three. I even got my mom. But, no. But, no. No. Oh, what kind of? the Wakanda barcode? <laughs> Wait, how bad does that hurt? It didn't hurt. The, oh, the one that hurt. The one that hurt the most is my chest. Yo, quit being fake, fake and, tough right now. It didn't I, hurt? I wasn't. 
The it lip tattoo? Out of your lip that, yo, when I bite the, the worst, inside of my lip, that shit hurts forever. Listen, that the worst hurt? thing that you possibly could do is you're not allowed to drink for two days. Talk about alcohol. Say when, and that, say, was, oh. that was bad. That was trash. It was trash to Wait. me. Not being able to drink alcohol get, for two, you alcoholic motherfucker. Two right. days. I want to, like, to get loaded. I want to get loaded at the particular time. Ciroc's, uh, what was that? Uh, Redberry Ciroc was out at the time. It was fire. It was a time. You sound like a thought. Oh, no, I was listening. <laughs> Listen, I was, I was thoughty. I was thoughty on Ali back then. <laughs> back then. I'm a changed man. Listen, oh, I ain't had, I ain't, back then is a good. A, I ain't had a drink in sixty catchy. days. He said, I'm a changed uh, okay. man. Look at the range. Is, that part, okay. is that part of your regimen? <laughs> nah, um, just trying to recover from the car accident. But um, oh, also, man. I'm okay, going okay. back to what? <laughs> hey, Ooh, but now I'm, I'm going over. back. I'm, I'm, I'm super nervous. But Friday, you know I'm starting back eating fish and meat. Okay. First time in five years. So, oh, so you know. but you've been, oh, but you been eating oh, chicken, though. But he's been eating chicken, though. I ain't never had chicken. You ain't never I had, had chicken. chicken. Right. I had Craig? chicken before since 20, 2015. What do you mean you not? Craig, you have, have you had chicken, chicken in 2020, yes or no? No. So wait, why? I mean, Trey said part of, of, you need to know. I mean, Trey said part rolling. of why he was, we don't part, know. Is, part of why he was breaking the fast was because he missed chicken. That's what he said. He didn't say he had yeah, chicken. I, he said he was I breaking the, the meat fast because he missed to, chicken, particularly the fried variety. Um. I had some, like, I mean, obviously for people that just want to go plant-based, you got to take everything. And, you know, black people sometimes don't go to the doctor. You just think, right. nigga, you're skinny, you're healthy, all this other shit. I had some uh, nerve stuff going on where, like, yeah. I'm working out crazy. I'm thinking, like, yo, I'm just. Yeah, you can't be on the head. All this. And then all of a sudden, my arms are shaking. My legs are shaking out of the blue. I go get checked up. And I'm anemic. Um, right all type of shit. So they was like, yo, you want to fully recover? You got to get your fatties back and all right. that other shit. Go so you do need some, exactly. of, you need some of that plant-based diets. Like you have to be so careful about not to And I take food. like, I damn near like 30 some like, supplements like every day. That shit is trash. What the, the nutrients you need. Yeah. You so I'm at your house, Meek, Liz, B, bring the fry shit. We tried Wait, it all. No, no, well, I was actually going to say Liz is going to be joining you because she too, you know, went vegan and vegetarian and now she's like, I'm getting back onto the meat. I ain't never I, had Liz, the Popeye, are you? I ain't never had the Popeye sandwich. I ain't never had all this Oh, me either. Shit. But that's, don't that's don't eat that. That's Instagram. the devil. Don't eat that oh, shit. That's the shit. devil. Just have a couple bites. This nah, hell no. Nah. You don't got people fighting. One. So you I'm, pulling up, I'm pulling up to over. Naima. That's old shit. That doesn't happen. Listen, I'm pulling up to Naima Burrow. We're going to get lit. It's Yo, on. in the Heights, I dare you to ask for something that doesn't have meat in it. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. You come up. Trey, I had a fried chicken sandwich today, bro. You said what? I had a fried chicken sandwich today from Popeye. How was it? It was oh. great? Oh, it was fantastic. It's amazing. It, from, <laughs> it was so good. Was like, it from... Good. Like, you just I never had it. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Just take. You just don't want to miss out. Yeah. It's a cultural moment. And I had it right I on to make look, it out too. I'll, I'll do. A, I'll do a wing meal or a two piece, but I'm not touching that chicken sandwich. Like I'm, I'm not sorry. touching it. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's a, it's a mouth, they don't even put cheese on it. They don't even put cheese on it. Cheese See on that. Sandwich. How do you? Know what, Meek, you know what, Meek? Though, listen. Me and Meek just connected right now. College Trey and Meek just connected because when I was at Texas Southern. I used to get um, mix a uh, mixed chicken spicy sandwich. I would add Big Mac sauce with cheese. With cheese. You were in college. Ooh. You were supposed to eat shit like that. Nah, listen, nah, but you still listen. You can't knock it till you try it. That shit was flame. Chicken I, sandwich I, I like, with cheese. You gotta have a chicken like sandwich it. with cheese. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I just need, I just See need. a town. I like it. So what's the pepper jack cheese? <laughs> now you getting fancy. Hold on, but can Liz, can Liz tell, tell us why she's deciding to um stop with the plant based vegan, vegetarian stuff? Can't hear you. Your babe. mic is your mic is muted, Liz. No, I'm thinking it's our audio. The audio. We'll circle back. <laughs> oh. But Liz, when you ready? Your Liz, your Liz, you, you look good? amazing though. You do. No, you look so Liz, you Liz always got that glow. It's like she got, like she walk around with a halo light. That's that, <laughs> that plant based, 
That's yeah. the point. I, she stay with a glow. She wakes up with a glow. I love having to read her lips. Stop it is what she's saying. But <laughs> stop right. it. Okay. No, oh, it. stop it. Um, oh, but you know what? We did interrupt the meme. You were you were talking about um the bomb lineup expanding and the family. Yeah. Expanding. And now we have a whole bomb bunch, bomb squad, bomb whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. I'm pushing and, for bomb squad, but you know. Look, it'll be whatever it is, unless you want to fight with. Wait, is it? Who was it that was Bomb Squad? Was that was that Red Man? Um, that was no. That was um. Hank, Hank Shockley, that was Death Squad. Hank Shockley. That was Hank Shockley and um Public Enemy. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, either way. That B O M B. We're B O M M is different. There it's it is. Homage. It's a old totally homage. different. Completely different. That's what I love about it. But no, I mean, look, we. This is. I mean. It kind of now it's felt normal and it's felt like this is what it is. Mm -hmm. But going through each month, month by month and realizing this was the launch date for Wednesday service. This was the launch date for Crazy Sexy Cool. This was the launch date for going up to Spain. It really put it into perspective for us. I know me, Trey and, and uh, Jerv, as we were talking about, I was like, wow, all that happened in 2020? Because sometimes it's some, it just gets lost in the sauce. You kind of just think to yourself, yeah, it, they've been a part of this or it's been happening. But really, all, a lot of that shit happened in 2020. I mean, like, Naima, I'm going to give you an example. Do you remember the episode that you came on and we talked about the death of Andre Harrell, Little Richard, and Betty Wright? That all happened. It actually was in May. That was this was year. May. That's crazy. That happened this year, and like, Naima, you didn't, ha you didn't have your own podcast. I didn't have my show podcast. yet. I don't even that, think we were not, talking about it yet. I no, mean, we were, even. but, like, not for real, for real. But so like, think about that. Yeah, think about that though. When you feel like you're like, damn, I did a lot of pods this year. And then you think about it and you're like, yo, that shit was only because we were going through it. We looked at when we launched like each pod through here. It feels like we've been obviously under the network for two years. Yeah. As much right. because right. yes. But also I think that's a testament to how well all the talent fits together, right? Because if we felt disjointed, that wouldn't be there and obviously there's, there's community here and there's love here and we all even though like for example me and jason argued on text for an hour about politics <laughs> we still, great we conversation still, we still um there's still a lot you know there's still a lot of mutual like love and respect and and and, and ways we all play off each other y'all y'all picked good talent like what can i say y'all picked good no, talent. And, and by the way shout out to the again the listeners and subscribers mm -hmm. who gravitated immediately right because there's some people who are sometimes people are just afraid of change or they're just not comfortable with change but our listeners our patreons you guys have been amazing you heard it you saw it and you were like we love it and i told you know i know i've told several of you guys in the past like yo my goal is for like our show to be the the tuesday one to be the worst one in the lineup i want everyone to look forward <laughs> to everything else because that's how talented i think all of you guys are um having said that Where's the guest of honor to come defend <laughs> right. fucking House Party Three? <laughs> Cause that I'm, that's the first time I swear to God, that's the first time I said, maybe we need to rethink this lineup. Maybe this <laughs> maybe some people got to go. <laughs> it's like who pick okay, so let's get into that. So Trey, shit, Trey, when did you I don't even when did that when did we launch Wednesday service? I don't even know. What month uh, was it? It was June. Okay, it was June. So early in the game, Trey came on the show. We talked about Boomerang. And I think on that show, we said at some point in the future, we were going to come back and, and do House Party and, and mm -hmm. keep that going. And so Karin and I have been promising the listeners that we're going to do it. And then it'll be like Sunday and Karin be like, are we going to do it this week? And I'll be like, fuck, I forgot to tell everybody else. I want people to come. So finally we got, we like, we'll do it as a holiday party or whatever. Um, but the the reason for me that house party is important aside from the fact that it came out my freshman year of high school so imagine being a freshman in high school and that movie comes out like it's the most movie theater packed walls lined up like it's the most amazing experience ever but that was the movie that kicked off that whole 90s black movie movement it was the first one it came out in 1990 and because of house party Boys in the Hood got, you know, got greenlit. Obviously, Eddie would have been able to make Boomerang anyway, but House Party was, it was House, the first four, I want to say were House Party, and I'm, I'm going out of order, but House Party was first, um, Boomerang, New Jack, and Boys in the Hood. Those were the first four that kicked off, like, that whole decade. No, no love for school days? The school days not fit in? Well, it was 88. Oh, that's a good point. School days was 88. I love school days, but that was 88. So you could call that the precursor. 
right? I feel like School Days was the one that like ushered in like black movies that weren't because well, like Do the Right Thing, Do the Right Thing was like so. Do the Right Thing was eighty nine, but it's also but, a very big picture. It was right. very like like, like School Days was a black movie for black people. Right, and she's got a habit came before School Days, but people weren't really on Spike like that. Right. Yeah. Right. So I mean, definitely School Days was eighty eight, and you can look to school. I mean, School Days definitely helped. Spike was a little mad because he wasn't. Not even. Hold on, hold on, one yeah. second. Right. Come on, I please, know you don't be going. Come on, I know you don't be going. Uh, I know. I know you don't be going to bed like that. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, but look. Oh, Karn came dressed for the occasion. Yeah, he got the no, ass cut. He got the ring. <laughs> he got the ass. Karn, Karn, you really be having? You really be going to bed with that? That baller. If you doing that, you baller as hell for that. <laughs> That's baller. Hey, you know this is our resident Marcus Graham. He had no, no. That's oh, baller. But look, and he about to box. Some, oh. some niggas live life right. I don't know what the fuck y'all be doing. <laughs> hey, hold on. I'm about to. But, I'm about to uh, replace what? my pen and make him. B, listen, I put the pen. Go ahead. B, <laughs> B, why are we all aligned though? Like we color coordinated in everything. <laughs> like, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh. Like this line right here. <laughs> you know what, Karen? Brother, if you had to be late, I'm glad you came in like that. I appreciate I appreciate that entrance. I do. I really do. I really do. That's impactful. And you're just in time because we are just starting getting into the movie part just now. What you drinking? Rose. Okay. <laughs> I'm with that. I understand. <laughs> is, that, is that a satin blend? Is Sad, cool? baby. Sad. 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 Oh, I know that's right. With the ass cut. Sure. Let I me go ahead and get my drink you know, popping. Hey. So, that's how that, just so that note. everybody knows, we had a whole conversation for like a week about pajama situations because we all know <laughs> that men don't do pajamas for real. So it was a whole like, we showing up and like- Except for Hugh Hefner down there. Ray actually went and got a tank top. Which I, I get I invited to the lingerie parties. I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> I used to have. Don't mm. get mad at me because hey. y'all asses be outside. Hey, hey I'm gonna buy y'all sale. Hey, well, hey, I'll pull up full, full sweatsuit. Killer, still invited. <laughs> Killer. Still in bikes. Say okay. hey, bike again, Trey. <laughs> hey, invites. Oh, uh, bodies. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, good. Um, where were oh so. We were talking about Karin, like why I was saying why house party was important to me, and I was saying that it kicked off like that whole um. 90s black movie movement it was the first one to the point where like people almost don't count it as the first one but um i'm not gonna go too deep into the cast and all that other stuff because i have some trivia questions for y'all later it's but, also yes dear remembered because the first two movies are the last really the last classic one. outside of strictly business of like black people dancing, having a good ass yeah, time as, yeah. at party movies. Oh, I forgot. Strictly business goes in that first. And strictly business. The, yeah, even like, though it under it underperformed at the box office, but we need to count it in the canon. Still a classic. Yeah. But niggas don't dance no totally more. Classic. Holly Berry's first major role. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's totally classic. Um. So, but you're right. It's one of the last like we dance and we party in type genres, which I miss. I miss that energy. I miss that a lot. Um. Yeah. So but like, but like, also as a white dude, I'll just want to say that like the eighties is, is important. High school, sorry, the eighties high school movies where it's like Sixteen Candles or uh, mm -hmm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Like, how many black people are in those movies? Right. So I'm glad you said that because I actually like said the whole eighties was like, yo, these are high school classics, and yet there, there's they're just focused on one type of person all the john hughes all the john hughes john movies, hughes which yeah. i love the john hughes flicks by the way but i'm glad i'm so glad you said that because i actually did say once that like if you because i'm the resident xer up in here if you want to really know how we grew up meaning gen xers you can watch either ferris bueller's day off or you can watch house party both the house party gives you the black perspective ferris bueller's day off gives you a general perspective but like you know motherfuckers was getting arrested and not calling parents sneaking out the house trying to just get things done by any means necessary without involving adults wherever they could and just like figuring it out. Like that is kind of how we moved. Um, and you have like every kind of archetype. You have the hood chick who lives in the projects, but like is fly. 
you got the good girl who is still treated like a little girl by her parents, but she's out in them streets when they're not looking. You got the, you know, dude who has the really tough and strict household who's just trying to be out here and live. And you got the entitled dude whose parents got a little money and he's got his little car and he's out here just moving like he wants to move. Like you got every archetype in, in the flick, which is also Don't one. Don't forget and, the lie. And you got, and Don't you got the I mean, yeah. And Don't you got never grown, forget the lie. And you got the grown men who were still in high school, which when I was in high school was a thing. They drove the bus. Those dudes drove the bus. They were like, they looked 30. And you were like, why are you still a senior high school? Um, so all you have all these things at play. But one of the things we were talking about on text was like, everybody actually has, not everybody, but a lot of, some of y'all have a different favorite house party. So for, for this conversation, house party four did not happen. We're no. talking about one through, no. as a matter of fact, what are they now, like six of them or some shit like that? We're talking about one, what? there are, there's more. So we're talking about one through three. That's it. So going around, I'm going to go around my box. Uh, I want everybody to say which one their favorite one is and why. I mean. The original. Yes. Why? Because that was House Party. Everything else was kind of trying to recreate the magic that they captured in the first one to me. Yeah. And that's not to say I don't, I don't enjoy House Party 2, for instance. I do enjoy it, but it's just the original a lot of House the same- Party beats a lot of the same moments that they tried to right yeah right and, and and i mean i don't blame them it made them a lot of money apparently but like the reality is the best story and the most fresh the freshest story was the first one yeah agreed uh wasney yeah i'm gonna go with the original but it's different for me it's just um i was only three years old when the movie came out right right and so a lot, like a lot of the culture flex. in my house was, there's not a flex, I'm just saying, a lot of the culture in my house was curated by my older brother. And so it was obviously his favorite movie. He had the, you know, the VHS. I almost forgot what to call a VHS. <laughs> he had the VHS in the crib. And 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 that's and, and I watched that movie over and over and over again, right? And and that's, that's kind of why. I don't think I had like, some type of um, film critique more so than it's the one we had. And so it's the one that I watched and I grew to love, right? Um, and and it's crazy because, you know, by the time I was like, it's 1995 and I'm watching this stuff all the time. Um, I had already decided that I was a pretty big hip hop head. And part of me was like, yo, <laughs> y'all was jacking kid and play. <laughs> That's like, you gotta understand, like I was I was already into Biggie Smalls and Bad Boy right. and the whole thing, right? Um, so I was like, wow, like y'all was this is what y'all was jacking back then. That's no, they got know, cl- don't, don't get don't get it twisted. They got clown for being so clean, but that's mm. also what made them perfect. Yeah, it got them paper, and, right? And, yeah, to be that big, like a hundred percent. Um, Jason. I feel like you were the House Party 3 person. Oh, no. I I, okay. I liked House Party 3 because I love Bernie Mac. Um, but it's the original for me. Uh, and it's because of Robin Harris. Um, I grew up with Bebe's Kids was, was my favorite film yes. as a kid. And, uh, you know, then coming upon House Party and Robin Harris is the, the reason why the movie is so great. Like, every line he has in the movie is excellent. And Robin uh, died a week after the movie came out, which is crazy. Yeah, see, I didn't even know that. And I just found out that he was 36 when he died, which is crazy. It's crazy, right? That movie, and you think, like, he looks He's like, like 50. a 50-year-old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, that and... Uh, so, horny the ass a wet doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's from a better blues, though. Yeah. <laughs> that and the, rap, and the rap scene slash dance scene... Um, right were, you know, was everything in that movie. And that's what made, to me, made it like a classic worth always, you know, watching and revisiting. All right, um, me. The original, and to just be frankly honest, I don't remember two or three. I know Kid got married in one of them, but I, I don't <laughs> remember. But I will say I was also young too when that movie came out and, um, it was the it was the dancing scene like me being a dancer I, I just remember me and my cousins we always want to re revisit that and even to this day me and B was <laughs> like it was pulling from that at the some point in our, the- yeah yes. we did kick it, everything so the best thing about that scene is that it was not in the script 
Yeah, that was free. Oh yeah, yeah, then that's even what? better. That was not because wow. you know AJ is a dancer and Tisha yeah. is like a, a, a stage kid. She's been yeah. on TV for a thousand fucking years. She's been on TV her whole right. life. Yeah. Um, and they were playing around on set and, and did that and then shot it. But that was not that was not in the oh, script. Wow. That was and it's the and it's the and it's the scene that makes the movie like that so part. Fun. So many this people. part right here, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but forever. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That was not in the script, which I love. I love the fact that it wasn't in the script, and that was just them doing them. It, what's, yeah. What's the name of the brothers? The um, ones that I smell pussy, brothers. Uh, I smell full force. Full force. Full force. Full force. Full force now that threw me for a loop when I found out that they was actually singers. I was like, wait, because I didn't. I. So I I didn't know nothing about like Chico, I mean not Chico, but Elder Barge and all that. I like, you know, like I was like way younger. So then I'm like, these buff dudes with curls is like singing. Like what? <laughs> not only singing, and and this was one of my trivia questions for y'all later. Not only singing, so they they sing full force. Um, they were bigger in the 80s. By the time we were coming into the early 90s, people know them mostly for like their work with Lisa Lisa. Um, not so like, to be if, confused with Force and D's. Not to be confused with Force and D's. If you listen, to, if you've ever listened to the original version of All Cried Out, that's Full Force singing the the male part. Um, but they also produced for Justin Timberlake. I think they produced for Christina Aguilera. Like they were doing like the '90s white pop people. Mm -hmm. um, and and yeah, like the big buff dudes looking like that with the Jerry Curl ponytails and everything. But like with sing they sing and write and produce their ass off. But they are the people who are singing the song in that dance break, the Ain't My Type of Hype, that's full force. That actually is full force, oh. um, which is one of my favorite songs of the New Jack Swing era. Um, what about you, B? Which one is your favorite? So, House Party 3. So, I, so <laughs> please ask her why. Please, please why? ask her why. It is, I, was, I mean, um, listen, it's got, the, it's got great talent, but like, yeah, but it's so, it's simple. I was a huge Immature fan. And I've been a okay. huge fan of theirs since it was the original three. Who you see in the movie, I was a huge fan. I had their cassette tape. Before they kicked even, the Asian dude out. Yeah, hot half pint. <laughs> yeah, they got him out of there. But I really liked two because I really enjoyed like movies that showed the college experience. So, you know, I ended up going to HBCU, shout out to North Carolina a and mm -hmm. And seeing the pajama jam and like just how people party and how they just really got turned up to the music i was looking forward to that college experience mm -hmm. so i would say two but three is like you know what when i would have sleepovers for my birthday and have parties i would go to blockbuster and rent house party three that's so cute every that's single year that was my shit. also really not age appropriate but that's really cute <laughs> it's that's not <laughs> Young and Mature was much better than when they came. Well, what, did, what did they turn their name into? IMX? IMX. IMX. But yeah. do you guys yes. remember, hold on. Do you guys remember originally what they were thinking about changing the name to? They thought they were going to put an apostrophe in there and be like, I'm, I'm mature. Mature. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait, time out. How, how y'all know that? How y'all know that? <laughs> what, what word up? What word up magazine <laughs> was you it was, reading? It was definitely a thing. It was it's, definitely a hey. kind of like, Nick, they, said it's on, called, on, they said it on Nick, BET or some shit. I don't know. Nick, it's called Hot 97. <laughs> when Hot 97 is your Bible. They told, they told Donnie Simpson. <laughs> no, they, was, they, they was on Teen Summit with Ananda Lewis. Yeah, they, were on, they told Ananda. <laughs> Where's Ananda, Ananda at? Where they is Ananda? Ananda? What was, that? What was that, that boy with the big head who used to, who the used curl? to host with the curl? What was that boy's uh, name? I don't know his name. Nigga. I don't remember that child name. They might have told him. But yeah, that was definitely a conversation. But they were cute when they were young. Um, so not to damper the mood, but Ananda Lewis uh, recently came yeah, out and said that she has breast cancer. So. Oh, wow. Yep. Damn. Yeah. Press to Ananda. Oh, she's good. Press yeah. to Ananda. Ananda Press was to her. like the, a staple. The it. it girl of the 90s. Ananda was the it girl. I remember it. when yeah. she popped up in the No Limit. I need a thug girl video. Yes. In the royal <laughs> blue army fatigue outfit. Wait, and you I was like, what kind of shoes did she have on, Kari? God yeah, damn. Right. <laughs> you remember what kind of right. scrunchie was in her hair, Kari? Right. You remember yeah. when she was dating Chris Webber? That was like a whole yeah. situation. Yeah. That was, that was back when you was allowed to say chicks had good hair, you know? <laughs> 
I do remember that about her. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> I do remember that about her. Just, Ananda was good. Just saying. Ananda, Ananda was the original with the baby hairs. Like, yeah. he is like the true baby hair queen. Yeah. And like a 24 inch, like them waves was just like, yeah, what she was girl, girl, we she talk was about 30. We, she, she was hanging at 30 inches or more. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out to, shout, out to, shout out to Ananda. Shout out to Ananda. Um, Liz, what? Which one is your favorite? And what? We still can't hear you. Oh, you guys can hear me? No, oh, no. Hey. You didn't. put the mic to your lips. <laughs> All right. Can y'all hear me now? Yes. Yes. Hey. Gotta, hey now. Liz, you got to talk into the microphone, please. Talk into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> what to say, Shay? Speaking of baby hairs, Liz, shout out. Okay. Shout out to It's all like that. Like Ema, Ema, she keep her baby hairs in, in a pre -K. I also noticed that she got her head angled towards the camera to make sure. It has to. I mean, they're, they're on the side too. Yo, she got Both that. Sides. She got that '96 Gene Wanda Bachelor album. Like. Exactly. Yes. I'm you stingy. Just Tell me, do you want to go home? With me? Yes. A pony. Yes, with the curl. Oh, all right, all right. I'm, I'm with it though. That, that's a okay. brown spell for your house. Okay, Liz. Which one is your? Which one is your favorite? Um, it's the it's the classic for me. Um, <laughs> I wasn't even born when the movie came out. I was born yeah. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> when the movie came, when I saw the movie, um, flex on what year are you flex. born? <laughs> Don't ask her to answer. You're after so 90. Old. Trey, relax, relax, Trey. I'm, oh, <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't even want to know. I'm the okay, same age as Robin Harris. <laughs> now, Ema, I'm, yeah, I didn't Ema, even Ema, see two or I three. Remember, I was a fully formed, like, uh, you yeah. know. As hormonal as she, hormonal teenager when this movie yeah, came out. Yeah, some people like you like I was born and not uh uh I don't want to hit no. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Sis. Okay, so Liz, when when did you finally see it and how did it resonate with you? Um, I want to say I seen it like at my grandmother's house mm -hmm. with my little cousins and also it was the dancing thing for us. We interact with we redid all dancing growing up, so we used to play double dutch and when it went dancing, I was in drill team. So, um, yeah, it was it was the, it was the dancing for me. Right. Then I got older and then rewatched it, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is some real shit. This is some shit we was doing, sneaking out the house, <laughs> not telling our parents where it was going. So, yeah. and I didn't even see two or three. So, yep. Hey man, you know oh. what? I saw them, but I didn't see them at the same time. I did that part. I, that I part. Watched them one. It I didn't stick. Back, I had to go back and scan that shit. And the only thing I remember from two was that it was a pajama jammy jam because my, we formed a sorority in high school because the white girls had a sorority and we had a pajama jammy jam our senior year because of the movie. That's the only reason that stuck with me like that. Oh, okay. um, yeah, but, and then I had one for my 40th birthday. Um, and my first <laughs> dress. Um, Tom, have you even seen, Tom, have you seen all three? I have to ask this question because you're white. <laughs> I, I've only seen one and okay. I didn't know that there was a two and a three until y'all were texting it and a four and there's a five I think too we said we're not going to talk about those those don't exist those don't count. Yeah, but four is like rocky five right like, like they just pretend like the, that it never it's happened like step up. it's like step up yeah you know, keep making they're them. not even like in that. for us up for like two seconds it's like their little cousins right doing their own version exactly so oh I, yeah marcus houston them like are grown up or like grown or yeah, something yeah right? that's four i thought it was like you know like one of those lifetime movies that like how i like read yeah. something. Yo, that's yeah, cool. i remember that i remember that one does the movie change because i looked this up uh because i didn't know how many there were does the movie change if it was for will smith and dj jazzy jeff um at no. the time of the actually uh will and jeff were I want to say they were approached for it first. Yeah, yeah, they were. And I think that it does because one of two things happen. If Fresh Prince happens, we don't get two and three. Or if he, or if that prevents Fresh Prince from happening, that's an even, like, then we maybe don't get Will Smith the superstar, right? So it's like, that would have been a rip in the time-space continuum that I don't think we can really consider. Um, if, if they had, and I'm trying to remember why they didn't do it. 
I can't remember why they didn't do it, but they were definitely approached for it. Actually, I think maybe even Kid and Play were bigger than them. Even though they had won a Grammy, the first rap Grammy, I think Kid and Play might have been a little bit bigger than them commercially at the time. Let me look this up. There was a reason why Will and Jeff didn't take it, but I can't remember what it was. Um, dare I, dare were, I say that uh, Jazzy Jeff could not have probably filled Play's role in the movie? At all. <laughs> like, at all. I don't know. Yeah. He would have been Kid. Yeah. He doesn't have the range. Yeah, yeah. No. I and mean, I love because Jazzy Jeff. It would have been a Jeff is good. Movie. Considering Jeff had never done any acting, and you think about Jeff on Fresh Prince, which is absolutely not like his personality at all. Jeff did a great Jeff on Fresh Prince, but yeah, he didn't it, even want he didn't even want to do Fresh Prince. So but, but Jeff but is the, been, but is the Jeff acting would have been play though. Jeff would have been kid. Will would have been play. But the Jeff acting is, that elite that it that would have <laughs> like it would have been such a drop off. But like there's I no. Mean, but why? It's like play, these are these kids' first movies. You know what I'm play saying? Like, is a, play is a very distinct character. And that's one of the yeah, things I want to talk fair. about. Like, play is the worst friend in life. Like, why is <laughs> why is kid still his friend all these years? He's awful. He's fucking terrible. He's trash. And every Wait. movie play does something to, to like inadvertently. He's re- he's somehow responsible for kid getting his life fucked up. Except class act. He he was the good guy in class act. Right. I don't I'm not even counting. Yeah, that was the that was the through the looking glass shit. I'm not counting that one. The free but no, for Wait. sure. Play. Jeff would have definitely been played because uh Will Smith would have been the main character and kid is Absolutely. the main character in the movie. Yeah. And also the kid the kid's character plays someone who is of a I won't say a sheltered background, but a like a better a background. Kid. Right, he's a good kid, and that's that's what Will has been his entire career. So I have a question. Do you think that like um like the the get the good guy or the bad guy, whatever, between the friends, that like colorism has something to play with that? I'm so glad you said that. Cause we talk, so you know what? We talk about that in women and we don't talk about it in guys. And with kid and play, first of all, I do think Chris and Chris are two different types of personalities, because they're they're both named Chris. I do think Chris and Chris are two different types of personalities. But I definitely also think it was easier to sell like the one as the as the good kid and dark skin kid Chris as the mischievous kid, even though ironically, you know, dark skin Chris had it a little easier and he had a softer life, but because of that, he was more entitled. You know what I mean? But even if you look at like Sydney and Shireen, yeah, like dark skin. But it's know. now different now because back then everybody was on Shireen, but nowadays, especially in Cali, they own Sydney. <laughs> You right, know, they, it, they, they it, it, that's virginal <laughs> bullshit. Even though Sydney wasn't really that, she was just pretending to be that. Did, did but y'all ever notice on image in on um I was about to say immature, insecure that all of Issa's female enemies are lighter than her, except for Molly, yeah, of course. <laughs> but like you know, no, you're right. You're like right. everybody who she's beefing with is um. <laughs> is light is more light skinned than she is, which which I always felt like was intentional for sure. No, because like the, reverse, big, the biggest, but the biggest course. beef. No, the biggest beef is with our best friend, and yeah. her best friend is, and then also the um I can't remember the the more the more heavy your what's the well, um, funny the funny. Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Yeah, she's Kelly. light oh. and like that. Well, Kelly. well me, yeah, Kelly. but maybe, but maybe that's the message of the show is that the ultimate evil is the dark skin chick. <laughs> I'm just I fucking was. with y'all. Why? 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 This ain't that show. This ain't that show. Was, <laughs> well, the thick troll jobs right there. Okay, guys, so wait. Waz went <laughs> right to. Yo, yo, Waz, hold on, Waz went right to Tyler Perry land right there. Nah, <laughs> where the darker version is Honestly, always the villain. Issa's, Issa's um, agenda, score settling that she does on the show um, always gets on my nerves, right? Like right down to the Asian love interest because she did an interview where she was like, Asian men and black women are the lowest on the totem pole in dating, so I identify with them. Like she said this publicly. It was in her book. Yeah. Right, exactly. And so she's always doing some type of score settling in her in her work. And whatever, it's her right to. It's her work. But it, it's hard for me not to notice it when I see it. You feel me? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a leap over what was you <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just I'm just not even gonna acknowledge that conversation right, right now. 
Um, but I am gonna say that because I'm not even gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna say so the, the AI reason, step over. Yeah. The reason Jeff and Will turned down the um movie was because they had the song called Nightmare on Mine Street. New Line Cinema sued them. New Line Cinema put out House Party. So if they mm-hmm. did House Party, their proceeds would have gone against. Like they were like, you can do two movies for us and clear this suit. So even the Hudlands were like, they didn't really know if they wanted them for it because they would be doing it out of obligation and not because they really wanted to do it. But at the time, neither one of them <clears throat> really cared a whole lot about the idea of acting, even though Fresh Prince came to be within that that next year of 90 so that's why they didn't do it but yes it was originally created with them in mind but i can't see i can't see anybody else in the role to be honest with you like it's just it was it was perfect for who it was okay so let's let's ask some questions y'all know this is my i know this is my we role. have to keep at did, did trey tell us who his favorite was oh i'm sorry i, did, I skipped some people okay trey yeah. <laughs> what's your which one is your favorite and why oh man house party one and it's because of the loud Always and forever. <laughs> so um, slow. Also, like my hush puppy. Uh, yeah, slow dance. Uh, the uh, switch speed dating was crazy. Mm. You know, the infamous switch. I still use that gif, you know, on some funny shit. And then also, Shrey! Outside, Shrey! you know what I mean? Like, if, if, if we was outside and I live close to y'all, I'd probably go by y'all window and yell at <laughs> Just because I, I like movie references like that, so. What about stop right, bumping I mean, the table? Stop bumping the table is still a rule to this day, unless you know. Like, but but then still, but then still do started. It. Then still started bumping the table on purpose. Which I'll give you guys another gem. I didn't put this in trivia because I knew nobody would get it. So Daryl Chill Mitchell, who now is in a wheelchair, even though he's still an actor. I don't know if you guys realize it's the same guy. Um, because he's on what is he on CSI? He was on CSI. Yeah, well, I ain't seen him in a minute, but I, I remember feel like, him being I feel on like he stars Prince in every back in the day. movie. Every yeah. vehicle that deserve that needs someone to be the tech guy in the van. He like plays that's, the tech that's guy terrible. in the van and everything now. I'm right? just thankful that like he was in a motorcycle accident. Um, I'm just thankful that like he still kept his acting career going after that. But he also was one of part of one of the first acts signed to Uptown, um, Smooth Be Chill. So the guy who passed the guy who's about to start the dance scene with him and then he's too drunk, that was his that was his partner in the group. Um, so just a little bit of trivia. They were one of the first acts signed to Uptown. Smoothie. Who's low key like the best character in that movie? Because who in high school shows up to a party in a double breasted suit? Um, And I was like, I fuck with that nigga. That's your your energy. Yeah. That brings us to Karin. Karin, which one is we already know your favorite (laughs) is the first one. Yeah, it's the first one, but like my my appreciation for the second one, they they like one A, one B to me. Because people sleep on the soundtrack for the second one. Yes. Soundtrack is very good. The soundtrack is dope. It's very, they play Candlelight and You like 18 times during the second one. Yes. Uh, which is a, a slept on <laughs> slow jam. I love that song. It's so good. For the nighttime is the right time if you're trying to get down the right way. Dante's voice. Um, <laughs> but three off, but like three has great classic punchlines. That if you've seen three, like there are just punchlines from three. It's also Chris Tucker's first movie, and right. no one realizes that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one, but two is, is right there behind it. Just because I don't remember pajama jams being a thing before two came they out. They weren't, they weren't, they weren't, they weren't. So we, so we owe them that. Um, all right, guys. So I have a set of questions. Here's what you can choose from. Um, our categories are cast, which means I'm going to ask you a question about somebody on cast and crew. Uh, quotes. I'm going to give you a quote. A, you have to tell us. Um, who said it? You can use character name or real name in which movie, um, music, or plot line. Um, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with you, Karen. What what category you want? Quote. You want quotes? Give me one second. Flash cards? No, I have print outs, Negro. Like you about to do? You about to do? <laughs> <laughs> Time tables? Uh, all right. I ain't got time to wait. I got to pick up money over here. I got to pick up money over here. And I came to pick up some money over here. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> right. uh, Who said that? Uh, is that House Party 2? That is House Party 3. It's Chris Tucker. It is. House Party 3. So <laughs> That's Chris when he comes to the door. 
Yes. yes. It's Chris Tucker's first scene in House Party 3. <laughs> um, I don't know you, man. Same time. Yeah. Same yep, time. Yep. Yeah. That's that, that scene. I know the end of it. I don't yeah. know the beginning. Same time. I don't know you. I don't know you. Um, because then, then he used that same line in Money Talks. And Money and Talks. Everybody yeah. thinks yeah. Money yeah. Talks. Yeah. And I'm like, no, that's from House yep. Party 3. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who's next? I'm going to pick people. Wise. So you got characters. Plot line, music, or quotes. Give me, give me character. Okay, um, or cast and crew. I should say. Sorry. Okay, which cast members do House Party One and Boomerang share? You can say real name or actors. Uh, Martin I mean, Lawrence, real name or character name. Martin uh-huh. Lawrence and Tisha Campbell. Hmm. Um. One more. Yeah. It's actually that's, two more, but they're in the data. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, I that's all I got for you. I actually watched Boomerang not too long ago for the first time in my life. Like can, I, can, I, can I answer? Go ahead, B. Uh, John Witherspoon. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> and who's with John Witherspoon? Oh, Miss God. Miss Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> And yes. B.G. Drake, who was also his wife in Boomerang. And that's and who was also Craig's mama in Friday After Next. And who was also Penny's mama in uh, Good Times. Good Times? Yeah. Was she? Yeah. And who was Man also Myra in Martin. Wait. Yes. So wait. Yes. Um, you got to work on Myra's D- feet. <laughs> D and Pops was, was wife and husband on Friday. But then, like, didn't he like play like an uncle or a co- or like an older man, like in like a, a sitcom that happened like long, long ago? Uh, they Wayne's were... Brothers. No, no, no. Before Wayne's Brothers, I'm talking about like Good Times. Oh, I can't remember the name. Oh. A rerun? Was it rerun? Because I think oh. Dee and Pops are. They were on the show. They were on like a a sitcom show together. Uh, and Dee, about the she might have been. On, I think she was on What's Happening. I don't know about John Witherspoon. Dang, I, I swear it was a sitcom where, where, where he was older, but she was like a young girl. What, what's happening now? <laughs> I know John with a spoon uh, on the Richard I remember that one. Show. Nobody remembers that show. I remember no. it. I watched with Anna Maria. What's her name? Okay, oh, like, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know. I have to look that this, one up. This never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look that one up. But me, let's go to you next. So you want cast, quotes, uh, music, or plot line? All right. Um, I'm gonna just go with plot. <laughs> okay. Um. So in House Party One, why was Chris, why was Play in Trouble in the first? I mean, why was Kid in Trouble in the first place? Shit, I forgot. He, he's gonna get his ass whipped by his daddy though. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> I, did he like? What did he? Shout. He snuck out. I don't know. I don't remember. Who wants to pick it up? Jason, are you raising your hand? Go ahead, yeah, Jason. Yeah. Um, he was at school. He got into a fight. Oh. With, with uh, bro from for, Full Force. Full Force. Okay. Yeah. And because he called his mama ho, he threw some jello at him in the lunchroom. And then, started a food fight. He started a food fight. And then the, uh, then the um, school called his house after he had asked Pops to go to the party. He shut, mm. he shut all that shit down. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> And he was doing that. This was so funny. So like in the days before, you know, Star 69 and, and Call Waiting and all of that, the way you would hover around, the way he was hovering around the phone while his dad, no, they sent a letter to the house. That's what it was. The way his dad was hovering, yeah. Oh yeah, the they sent hovering a letter around, to the like, let me try to grab something. And his father's on the phone, like, give me that. Whatever <laughs> that is, give me that. That shit was uh, real. That shit was real. Yeah. Um, that's, about, that's better than when they used to call the house. That used to well, they could have they, they called the house and the phone would have been busy. I would be happy. Like, if that phone rang, you got to run to catch it. That shit is anxiety like a mug. Um, all right. <laughs> Let's go to Amin. What you want? Cast, <laughs> quotes, music, or plot line? Drunk to play this game, but uh, let's go with <laughs> music. Why not? Because no one's picked that yet. Okay, so let's go with music. Um, all right, we actually answered this accidentally that, that was my okay answer. i got i got one i got one for you let's see how much attention y'all were paying who was the dj at the party that kid crashed oh i know that 
was the DJ. He was like, come on, young fella, let's get to it. <laughs> Y'all might have missed it because he ain't have his sunglasses on and look crazy. Was it George Clinton? Yes. You, you just read the chat. He just looked at the comments. I'm watching the game. I'm watching the game. Go get some glasses. Go get some glasses. Go get some glasses. I squinted at wow. everything. I was looking at the, at the Heat getting beat by the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's in the ball. I see it now. OK. <laughs> yes, it was, yes, it was George Clinton who almost goes incognito with the exception of like the purple and colored race because we were so used to George Clinton with like sunglasses yeah. looking half zooted or whatever. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to my ladies. B, I'm gonna go to you. Cast, quotes, music or plot lines? Music. Okay. Um, every single house party movie has mad musical acts in it. Can you name at least three recording artists who appear in the movie across any of the three that except yes, that aren't that, that aren't in oh, play that That's aren't in play way. aren't full force and we've already talked about immature so not immature oh shit yeah so easy that. we have queen latifah yes we have Raphael sadiq yes and we also have ralph transvant yes we do okay good job <laughs> and, and that's just TLC. from one movie that was from two yeah, that was. I, I just named from from uh, House Party too, so there's so many more. <laughs> yeah, you could have uh -huh. also, um, but also we could have so had no immature TLC, obviously, um, <laughs> and there was we already said Smoothie Chill, um, even though y'all wouldn't have got that. Uh, can't blame himself <laughs> me name. We mentioned George Clinton. There was there's some other people I'm forgetting, but it'll come to me. But yeah, there was more. There was more, but there was mad against across all. Um, who are we gonna go to next? Uh, Jason. Cast quotes music plot line. Uh, let's go plot line. Okay, let's see. Um, what was the name of the compilation whose commercial kept playing in the first movie? Oh damn! Um, all I know is a song that was playing. Hey, love. It was Hey Love. That's what it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, hey Love. Hey Love. Oh, yeah. no, my brother. You got to yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, Karin, cast, quotes, music, plot line. Uh, cast. Okay. Name, at least there are five. So there are five people in House Party 3 that are also on Friday. Name at least three of them. Three. Oh, in the first Friday? Yeah. Yeah. The first Taco. Candy Alexander's not in there. Jason's favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm blanking. I don't know. Those Trey, about that. Trey, you like you about to oh. like first. You like you want to jump in. Car Car go dude, ahead. Go dude, ahead. Tag dude, me in, Trey. No. Like, you doing a family me. guy. The the Peter Griffin ah this is the one like, that's a men. <laughs> no I'm just I'm listening. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, know. I mean it's Bernie Mac. Chris Jason Mac just Bernie. watched all these motherfuckers yesterday. <laughs> You're right. Him and Carl. I didn't so, watch three. Uh, <laughs> I didn't watch three, Jason. but I rewatched so, so Bernie Jason. Mac. Yeah, Bernie, yes. Bernie, we are, Bernie, and also Bernie. we already said the most obvious one, Chris Tucker. Y'all. Yeah. I said Chris Tucker. I said. Oh, he said Chris Tucker. He said. Yeah. He said right. Chris Tucker. Bernie Mac. Yeah, but I'm like. Who else? Who is who is kid marrying? The light skinned girl was Alicia. Alicia. Alicia that yeah. is her. I forgot. That's Angela Means, and also um, AJ Johnson, who is Ezel, is in three, and oh Yvette Wilson um, does a really quick cameo in three. Ezel is in one too. Shouts to Compton. Yeah, he's the he's the Jerry Curl nigga. I gotta go back and look at that again. I yeah, the one he follow the drip, follow the drip. Follow the drip. Yeah, follow he's the in it. Oh, he's is. Is. oh, he <laughs> is. He is the follow the drip dude. I totally <laughs> that. Okay. Um, who have not? Liz, cast quotes music plot line. Let's go with music. Okay, music. Um, I'm trying to think. 
I'm trying to keep uh your age in mind. Okay, you said you know. Okay, you said you never. Seen two. You said you never seen two. So let me come back to Baby one. Baby Liz. Okay. I know. This is Liz. I'm gonna apologize to you because this is gonna be kind of a hard question, but um, you said you've never seen the other two movies. So this is kind of about the movie, but it's really about this really isn't about the movies, about kid and play. So kid and play are linked to another rap, technically trio, but really duo. Because oh. they all because they all worked at a call center in Queens you want with, me to their give her mutual, a hint? with their mutual producer. Who what? is it? I give you a hint. They have a lifetime movie coming out next month. <laughs> Big ass hint. You put them on your food. <laughs> oh, what? I know. I know. Go ahead. I'm lost. I don't know. I I'll help you out. It's salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Oh. Salt and pepper. Kid and, salt and pepper. Kid and play. Harvey Love, Lovebug, who produced both of them and who had them sign in his production company. All grew and, up together, like on the and same Martin, um, And Martin Lawrence, who was actually, ki- who was actually Clay's cousin. Um, all like worked his blood together. cousin? Mm-hmm. All worked together That's at cool. Sears Call Center. Uh, in for Play Play. Which is how they all met. And, well, which is how they all came together and, and kicked off their respective careers. So wow. they were together early on and everything. Um, and if you listen to the music, you can kind of hear like the similarities sometimes. Yeah. Um, and they in right. each other's early videos. Yo. Yeah, they are in each other's early videos. What are you about to say, me? No, I'm just trying to think like who, who made out the best out of that arrangement. Martin. Martin. Yeah, word up. Like, like <laughs> Google his <Yeah>. net worth. <laughs> right. Martin. Martin. Impact um, and everything. Saw, saw and Peppa had bigger hits. Like yeah, but, no, impact. but impact, impact. Yeah, but they ain't got a classic movie. They had like they right. they don't have four movies. They don't. They have no movies. They Ooh. didn't do acting. They didn't get. <laughs> but, I mean, I had, like. Went, I like Push It, but and they got Grammys, huh? I said I like Push It, but ain't nothing ain't nothing topping you know, right. the movies and all that other yeah. shit. You feel me? Yeah. Or a series yeah. that people still play into this day. Watching that What a Man video for the first time was a very formative experience for your boy. <laughs> no, you mean yeah. shoot. Big corny <laughs> hours for the Same album cycle. Same. Like, th- so this is how big that was, right? So the ladies had all, like, by that point had kids, you know, that wow. thing. And when they came back, so they they looked cute in Black's Magic, but they but the style was like baggy clothes and stuff. So you know they had rounder faces and this whatever. And then they came with like the bellies out and the and tight. Yeah, they they were the like, sex kittens by then. Yeah, and it's and it's like we didn't even have social media then, but like everybody was talking about that shit. Like, yo, <laughs> yeah. <her? What>? like, <laughs> oh my god, like because they looked so amazing. Um, Naeem, then, I have a question for you. Yes. What is your favorite song out of all the movies? Um, it is probably so. It's between two. Is um, ain't my type of hype from one is definitely like a favorite for me and has always been. But there's a song on the soundtrack. I don't think it's in the movie. Um, it's by a group called Today with this lead singer called Big Bub, which is one of Teddy Riley's early productions, and it's called Why You Getting Funky on Me, which is also one of my favorite songs. But it's only on. The soundtrack. I don't think it's in the movie anywhere. Just like the ref trash band cut in two. It's only on the, the Yo Baby, Yo Baby, Yo, which could stay there. I don't even think he released that as a single. That was not a good song. It didn't curl. Uh, I have one more question. Yes, ma'am. Fuck, fuck Mary Kill, Bilal, Kid. I was going to ask you if you guys want to do that. Okay, so is it Bilal, it's Bilal, Kid, and Play? Yeah. All right. So I say Mary Kid, Fuck, Play, Kill, Bilal. I think that's the only way you can play that. There's really nothing else you can do. But the, hold on. I don't but see you, another way to go. This is your opinion with perspective now. Like when you were in high school. It would have been the same, the same answer. answer. Bilal, got, Bilal got clowned, right? And he had to think breath. breath. And he, he was breath. dragon breath. Dragon and, breath. And play was, you know, a player, clearly. Mm. And Bro had the same breath. So you, so you uh, wasn't going for that when you was in high school, is what you're saying. <laughs> but That's the, the dragon. You never wanted to date the nigga that was getting clowned. Are you kidding? No, 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 no. I'm talking oh. about the player part. I mean, like I said, fuck. 
Does Bilal not get no credit for being a fire ass DJ? Right, and being a hustler. You know he what? He was credit. a straight, he was a straight hustler. We didn't care as much about the DJ than we cared about the dancer. Like that, if you could dance, yeah, like that was it. So that's another reason why, like, play I mean, got a lot of the attention. You got to give Lau some credit for, for those big ass speakers. He constantly had to move True. to each set. Like he was a straight hustler. Like he probably owned some shit right about but now. But he didn't and have you know, a car. He, he leveled up for two. He gonna get, he he's going to get a car. <laughs> he was a better friend than play ever was. As a nigga Correct. who had a car all through high school. Niggas with cars and niggas who didn't have cars lived a very different life in high this school. This is very true. Is this is very, very true. But you was just starting uh, the box. Y'all saw how he I dropped good at my clothes, job. Right? He's like, Ask somebody like dropping to people off to get something to eat. <laughs> hey, don't forget about niggas that live by the crib. Oh, wait, so Trey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Trey, you Hello. have it. We still have to wait. You still have to go. You haven't gone yet. Do you want cast quotes music plot line? Trey all about location. <laughs> hey, yeah, the great future, Pastor Future said. <laughs> oh, oh, gas, gas used to be cheap there. <laughs> Massage, come on. Let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I'm gonna. You can pick for me, honestly. I'm gonna pick. Okay, so here's my question: When Play needed to get Shireen, when Play needed some money for Shireen to help get Kid out of jail, what did he tell her they were gonna do to get her to come out the house? Oh, I know. And it wasn't mm. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, me? <laughs> it was not that, no me. <laughs> it, def it, it definitely, it definitely wasn't it was a, not that. On lip service yet, not it yet. Was a, it wasn't, wasn't, a, it wasn't, wasn't doing hella, that. It was a hella high school answer. It's a nice yeah, answer. It, it That's was, a nice angle. Yeah. You know. Man, it's been that long. <laughs> Damn. You want to tag me in, Troy? Go, go ahead, Karin. You say he's gonna take it to Burger King, guy. <laughs> Yeah. He he mentioned, you going to Burger King? <laughs> he mentioned the Burger King in that? Yeah. He said, we're going to go to Burger King. After she was like, we're going to Burger King? <laughs> and that was what it took to get out of the house. I got a bonus mm -hmm. question. Wait, wait, like, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. Like, go to the club. Hold on, Car. Liz, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> going to Burger King. What, please? <laughs> They you know what? They it wasn't about, to be it wasn't about going to eat. There were always, depending on where you live, there would be like if you lived in like a um if you lived in like a, a car driving mobile town, like you know, like not a big city like New York or something like that, there would be certain restaurants where people would just be there. Like that was the meetup spot. So it might because remember, we ain't had like we couldn't text somebody and be like, yo, we're going over here. You just had to know everybody was gonna be. At, at the places. McDonald's. So it might be at like corner, it might be like, like yep. this Waffle House on this day, this Burger King after the games on Friday. Literally, it might be like a grocery store parking lot after like a shopping center. Night and the, the best and the best confirmation you could have was to call their house and be like, they left yet? Like, yeah. Yep. Like, okay. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. That was all you had. A PayPal yes. call yeah. to so their you house. You had like steady, it was actually almost easier because you had steady set moves. Because you could, because like once somebody was out the house, you couldn't catch them. So you had to know this is where everybody going to be here. You got these three places you might be or these two places you might be on this day at this time on this side of town. So it just made things easier. So that might have been about the hangout. After I, I got a bonus when it came out. question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can anybody name, and this is a biased question, this is a hint. What's, what college AJ Johnson attended? He graduated. <laughs> And was the beauty queen at Clark Atlanta? Fuck out of go here. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. Let's shut that shit down now. Oh my god. <laughs> he said, hell no. My we guesses. already know because you asked the question. That would be like me asking, does anybody know what sorority AJ Johnson belongs to? I know. I was about to say where she became Na Naima's, you know, soror. It's, you know. Anyway, okay. Um, what else do I want to so we were talking about the soundtracks. I think that's the one thing that stands out for all three house party movies. Um, I miss soundtracks, by the way. 
And I missed that. I missed that soundtrack era. It was an excellent shout out to the photograph. They got the latest good soundtrack in like the last decade. Streaming killed the Na- soundtrack. Naima, uh, can I can I ask a question? Why yeah. did the urban movie soundtrack die? Streaming. Because why are you putting together a compilation when everybody just puts together compilations all the time? Wait, it was it was dead movie. before streaming. I'm listen. I'm a soundtrack number one fan. Mm-hmm. All the way from above the rim to woo to everything, have plenty. You a sick time. nigga playing that woo. Yo, <laughs> by the way, great sound. On all of great these fucking soundtrack. soundtracks. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to Shout the rim. Shout out to have plenty. And woo, and woo has t-shirt and panties on it. That's what I'm telling you. I know this, these soundtracks. Like, Look at have plenty. Nasty. Charlie Baltimore <laughs> song. <laughs> you nasty. Yeah, have plenty got got uh, the Three jail felony song. To the right. The, 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 the Cameron, the last really the Cameron song Magnum PI song. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Are you that somebody was on the Nutty Professor? Dr. Yeah. Doolittle soundtrack was fire, but it died before streaming. It was dead. All right, I'm gonna go through. It whoop. died in the early. Well, let me put it this way. So it died early two thousands. Yeah. But that's when those black movies died, right? That was about the movies, exactly. not, not existing. Romeo but, Must Die is like the last fire soundtrack I right. remember. Ro- the, Romeo the, Must I, Die is also the last, that's that's the last time of me worked in the music industry. When I was doing the <laughs> distributing, uh, Romeo you Must on Die. The that's called a street team. Oh, uh, I was doing the vinyl deliveries to the DJs. In oh, the you were doing club. DJ pool, okay. Yes, and, okay. and that was, the 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 Aaliyah saw with DMX get your back in one yeah, piece. Well, back yeah, one that, piece. I had to go to all all the strip clubs, gentlemen's club, Nikki, smokers. Like oh, I was. Someone said the Bad Boys Two soundtrack. Nineteen twenty. No. Oh, the Bad, Bad Boys, Boys Two. Yeah. Bad Boys was that soundtrack was fire. That's that was three. Three. Oh, 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 three. It was oh three. Oh three. Oh three. Early two thousands. Your head was hard. Hey, that we do. Oh wait. We got the Black Panther soundtrack. Yeah, that, that, that was, was a hard ass. Uh, yeah. Yes, that yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, so we had the Black, Black Panther, Panther soundtrack. There's yeah, been a yeah. couple, but the Black Panther soundtrack was really like the first. People pretended really to like it for a week. They did. It was right. actually good. <laughs> it was actually good. Right. Oh, see, but here's the thing: you used relax. to get soundtracks. <laughs> you used to get soundtracks for two reasons. Garbage. Two reasons. The first one used to be. Um, labels would introduce new artists through soundtracks, right? Mm-hmm. Especially like Death Soul was good for it. Um, like you would hear it and then it would end up, you know, on oh, the American album. Gangsta. And that's, then, how, that's um, how we found out about Tony Braxton. That's how we found out about Tony Braxton. That's how we found out about Drew Hill. Well, that's how we found out about Mary and Jodeci. Like all of these were through soundtracks. But secondly, one of the things that soundtracks did that I think we miss is that, um, like for example, Friday had a lot of old school joints on yes. it. Their presidents was all old school. Crooklyn was all yes. old school. Like part of the reason we got exposed to classic joints was because they'd be on soundtracks. soundtracks. We'd yeah. all have the soundtracks. But I think that it's hard to argue unless you're going to have like a Black Panther where Kendrick is doing an original body of work. When you're talking about a compilation of songs, it's harder to argue for that in the in the streaming era, which makes me sad. It I it is. Naima, but I, know. I made a hundred thousand and I freaked it. That's gospel. <laughs> that was a great record. That was a great record. Uh, yeah, but that's this more like a that off, whole though. time. He dis bow that whole song and got a Grammy. Yeah. Okay. I just right. I just looked up the Wu soundtrack. Got I one. didn't know. That niggas done started something. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Wu soundtrack. Wow. This, okay, so here's the question. <laughs> everybody, so every so because even with the house party soundtrack, as dope as it was, as dope as one was, two was when we were really in the soundtrack era, so they obviously went harder there. The first like real concentrated soundtrack of that era was New Jack. Like he literally the guy who was the A and R for that literally said that he wanted to put up pe- together a body of work that was like the black exploitation era. And then with Boomerang, they saw what New Jack did and they were like, We're gonna do that. So and they had um, they had L.A. and Face Baby on face set. So, yeah. so what's your favorite 90s soundtrack? Hmm. 90s movie oh, soundtrack? Waiting to Exhale. Like, he's like, me, me, me. Go. <laughs> Meek, yeah. Waiting to Exhale, me too. Waiting to Exhale. That yeah, no, that's Bees. That's Bees. Oh, that's that's right. oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah. Waiting B- to Exhale. Waiting he's waiting having to a shoot well, moment with the rosé. I heard that. What? Okay, <laughs> look. Easy. Like, Baby Face killed it. I'm not sure. Like, during this whole quarantine, Babyface did uh, uh, 20, I think it was 25, 25 mm-hmm. years of oh, Mother's know, Day. Oh, yeah. He yeah. is doing it after Mother's Day because of Dre, but yeah. Right. Um, 
and yeah, they they right. went through he went through every single song and gave a story behind how each song yeah. came about like aretha franklin came over to his kitchen and because his studio is near his kitchen so mm -hmm. she came over and cooked I love Patty that. LaBelle comes over and cook. like he just has so many stories and like, that soundtrack is just classic. You gotta respect that it's a soundtrack full of women mm -hmm. of different ages, different stages in the game, and face and different sounds and face produced for every single one of them except, except one. Except except funny Valentine. Except funny Valentine. But yeah. he wrote and produced for like the range of joints on that. Like that's a feat. That's a feat. Love like, it. Your feet, which is why number one of a drillion um albums, and I actually have in storage, I need to pull it out. So, I used to work at Arista, and one day I was going through like a random closet and found a generic plaque for waiting to exhale. It was just like made out to the label, and I took that shit home. And it's <laughs> That's my storage right. unit. Um, no, I figured it out right because I couldn't. Stealing. I didn't want right. to hang on, on my wall at any of the labels because they'd be like, bitch, you ain't worked that soundtrack. You was in college. I so figured I out what the like, greatest soundtrack is, though. And huh? it's not from the 90s. No, it's not. No, I said, but I said 90s. I asked for okay. 90s. That was the, those were the parameters. Uh, I right, right, Okay, anybody, anybody favorite, huh? No, I'm just like, the 90s is boomerang for me, but the greatest soundtrack ever is Purple Rain. I mean, that's I cheating. I just can't. I just it's can't. Purple I feel like, I, I feel like can. purple. I feel like purple rain, purple and rain. The bodyguard. Are, you have to just not even include them in the conversation because they transcend all of this shit. I like Superfly. If we going okay. back, yeah, Curtis um, Mayfield. But yeah. but to some someone said Love Jones. Love Jones has some hot songs. Love Jones, on it, but as a collective, babe, oh my god. But as a collective, Jones. no. But like it had like some like some of the best songs ever. No, my I favorite song is on Love Jones. I love yeah. that. And Cassandra Williams is a Trump supporter, which makes me really sad because uh, can I you know you know what everybody sleep on from that era? I'm loving that mason jar, by the way. You, you uh, hey, you hey, you taking me here? You taking me there <laughs> with that one. Everybody sleeps on the soul food soundtrack. Exactly. Oh, yes. oh I didn't yeah. Soul food, yeah. right. soul food you know, soundtrack has some fun. I hate a song for mama. I hate it with a passion. I'm like, that was the worst song on there. Uh, <laughs> That's the worst song on there. <laughs> um, was was 2000, but backstage. You know I love it. Backstage, backstage is classic. Backstage is up there. Of course, was was was. You, know, the you know why I don't love soul food? Because but I can I listen to it occasionally, but loving face, you is like food all, to my all soul. Respect to <laughs> I I love face. I have all reverence for face. But he was in a very formulated production um, period right then. Um, and like, um, face is something like when face gets really heavy with his faceness, I can't really, I can't no, explain I'm it. thinking about Wait, listen, so what's I'm thinking about Soul Food killed Big Mama, the real villain, Soul Food. <laughs> what, right. She had the sugars. <laughs> soul, food, soul Food was the antagonist. You she right. She had the sugars. Well, okay, sorry. <laughs> But was preacher was preacher wife in the nineties? Because I just listened to that yeah. soundtrack the other day. My, co my, my cousin talks about that big mama your arm shit. He talks about <laughs> your that. Arm. No, like yo, the, feel that shit because like, hey. he felt the way like yo they really put a mammy in this movie, fam. No, like, no, they, that's but that's what that's what uh, why? Why? That's, that's what a big mama. Not a mammy. Mama looks like. When you talk about them water arms and the water, hey, oh, when them like, water oh. arms is in the kitchen, that food gonna we be. No, yeah, let, yeah. let me like, just like, say right now, let me just point this out because I learned this literally about a week and a half ago, that the preacher's wife is not a black movie, it is How? a white. No, written, it's a remake. It's a remake. What? But, but beyond that, even in the within the spirit of the remake, white written, white produced, white directed movie that but had it's black, all black people. I consider it a black Penny movie. Marshall. Black but we fuck with Penny Marshall. But we fuck with Penny Marshall. She's family. Penny Marshall. We, we, Penny. Penny gets Penny, Penny Marshall was good money. Penny yeah. and Laura Richie Cunningham. They get um as 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 Oh, as, we get you get a pass? Ron Howard is good pass, bread. But they get love because because Spielberg. They're not trying to sell us out, right? No, mm. you, you know you know you know who gets I, I'm gonna tell you the, the, the white uh content creators who get a pass for Spielberg. real. Spielberg. Spielberg, um, George Lucas. Because right. he's married to a black woman. I was just about to say. And, and Red Tails. He married a black woman and he made Red Tails. And that, that was a movie that wasn't going to get made 
unless he put also, all his money. Red Tails he put all his money. Fifty eight niggas in it that he gave jobs to. <laughs> exactly. But also, also, <laughs> if we're gonna do it based on that, then you also gotta talk about Brad Pitt because he's quiet about it. Yeah. But Brad Pitt has he didn't produce like forty eight slave hey. movies. Hey, hey, he was hey, Ma, to what? You want someone who's street. you want someone who's quiet about it? Kelsey Grammer. Yes. Kelsey's Girlfriend. a Trump supporter though, and that's yes. the thing. So I fuck. I used to fuck with Kelsey because first of all, I loved Fraser Crane and I love that show. Girlfriend. And I still love that show. It's one of the smartest shows ever on TV. But also, like Kelsey Grammer, executive produced Girlfriends and mad other yep. shit. But Kelsey yeah. is a hardcore. Yeah, right. He's a big conservative. Like, oh, like mad. Yeah, yeah. He's a right winger. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Big, yeah, yeah. Go. Him, awesome. the two man, him, the two, awesome. him, the two man Taylor. Yeah, um, listen, Vince, Vince, Vince Vaughn. Listen, a lot of people don't know love, that. I'm still, I'm still Vince Vaughn is big, 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 big conservative. If you yeah. love a white I person don't... really a lot, just check in with Waz to make sure they do. <laughs> you know what's so like, crazy? Like, listen, you know what's so crazy? Yeah, I never really, really, really fucked with Vince Vaughn. And then I found out his right wing tendencies. And I was just like, see, that's just intuition right there. Bro. And you know what's <laughs> fucked up about that is that you got Vince Vaughn and on the other side, you got um John Stavro, right? That's his name? Because I've been drinking. Favreau, John Favreau. Yeah. Favreau. Favreau, 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 yeah, yeah. Favreau. You got John Favreau, who is quietly the richest motherfucker in life and just be minding his business. And, and he's happy Hogan. Chilling. Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, like, this nigga shows up to set plays like the most tertiary role of tertiary roles. Meanwhile, he's also like the executive producer and has- And directing it. Right. And, and brought the Na- whole Naima, Like, do you, you know trying how to say- much money he must have? Like, yeah. Naima, are you trying to say he's so much, he's so money he doesn't even know it? Nah. Uh, hey. Vegas, can- baby, Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> Vegas, baby, Vegas. <laughs> hey, we can't talk about soundtracks without talking about the Nutty Professor soundtrack that gave yeah. us Jay-Z. Like that was a great. Yeah. And, uh, we we have to talk about it. Was that the first like deaf? No, you talk about hey poppy. No, hey poppy. Was Nutty Professor the first deaf man? Hey poppy is on Nutty Professor two, hey, but ain't no nigga is on Nutty Professor one. Yeah. Right. Because he teased me. Yeah, and, and that no, actually and, introduced me to Hove, by the way. Like, that's what I'm saying. It introduced the world to Hove. most people to Hove. Wait, yes. I'm sorry. I was like, what year? Wait, was that? what's the what's the meme? Ninety six. Yeah, the yeah. whole album came out in '96. Yeah, yeah, no, it, 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 no, reasonable right. doubt. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no nigga with the. Ain't the no single, nigga introduced the world to hope. But the single was blown up because the professor was a professor. Like, look, New York people knew ain't no nigga, but like the yeah, well, rest we of nobody else knew about it. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it because when I went to college, I remember. Who said can I get a what introduced them to hope, nigga? That was like. <laughs> that was like a compilation album. Are you it was, fucking serious? It was, it was <laughs> first of all, it's the totally. third album, but like you gotta remember. No, um, even even, a no, album. Uh, yo, no, but right. Not, not right, real yo. talk, real talk. I, I remember going to college in Atlanta and being excited about the Jay-Z album coming out, and they're like, Who's Jay-Z? And I'm like, what do you mean who's Jay-Z? Oh and my god. And then they said, oh, the guy who has a song with Foxy Brown. I'm like, no, Foxy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I was so offended. Wait, but, I, have a like, flip, I have a flip of that for you. So it, I, I went to the University of South Carolina. My sister comes down from New York. I have Outcast in the ride, as does every single person in the fucking entire Southeast. And she's like, <laughs> who is this? I'm like, what the, what? <laughs> what? Y'all, yeah, y'all, we were, no Southern playlist. We were, what? we were, yeah, we were. I miss, you know, I'm, I miss we those days of, of cross pollination of like introducing right. people. No, you miss region, was, regional rap. Regional, yes, regional I, I rap. Miss it. I do miss it. Regional I do miss rap. it. I miss like I remember I came back that first Christmas from Atlanta and I was I had all that uh, Kilo Ali and like Raheem the Dream. Love in your mouth. <laughs> all, all the all those fucking like bass. All, so, so that base all it's stars, all stars, you, oh. 91 and 92. And it was like, what are you listening to? I'm like, this is good. And like, no, it's not. I remember being shamed about it. I'm like, oh, you know, it's just I was five as fuck. <laughs> no, I remember my freshman year at Morehouse, I got introduced by the Texas nigga to fuck action and chopped and screwed. And God, I was just like, oh, that was yeah, one of those like instant this. thumbs down for me. I was no, like, I was like, I fuck with this. I didn't get it. <laughs> 
I feel like chopped and screwed. You have to be in such a specific. You gotta, you gotta be high. It's gotta be the right song. I'll say it. I'll say it. Right <laughs> you have to be it's, high as shit. Yeah, it's literally meant to stimulate to um simulate the the drug. No, it like it's gotta be the right song that you like, and then you gotta find the DJ that chops it and screws it the way that you like. Like oh, there are only yes. certain chopped and, and screwed DJs I listen to. Oh, hey, Texas. Texas Southern was the time. That was the first time like, I ever like, heard chopping screw music. OG Ron C did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm late. I was there during a thirsty go. ass time too. 2005, Lil Wayne was going to University of Houston. Lil Flip and uh, Ti was fighting. Lil Wayne was going where? <laughs> Lil Wayne was in he, school. He was he was in school. He was at uh, U of H. That. Psychology that? class. He was taking psychology oh, yeah. class. It was like during oh, uh, the he Carter. Was auditing, he was auditing a class. 2005. He was taking a class. Was okay. that during like but, Carter Carter Two? Yeah. 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 That's the it was, some mixta- it was some it was some it was some mixtape shit too, but like that was the first time I actually heard some screw. And then also the chop and slop was kind of making its way. And then that was the north versus the south. Right. They was they was beefing. I, I was my school, my college was right in the um right in third ward, right there by Frenchies. It was it was it was real country <laughs> in that thing. You know, we about to get on a whole nother conversation. I'm I'm getting the text uh from my super producer Rob that that we should start rapping and Wozni already had to go because you know he'd be having family commitments. Um so I I before we get into a whole like regional rap conversation situation, um, I first want to say to the person in the chat. You're right. Reasonable doubt did not make a big dent, but those of us who were there from the beginning were for real there from the beginning. I popped two of those fucking cassette tapes, and then I had to wait for the reissue, um, cause that shit. And I listened to it for the first time in a long time the other week in the car, driving from New York back to South Carolina, and it was. Shout out to hearing feeling it for the first time. That shit was nuts to me. That album is so good. It's so so fucking good. good. Timeless. Um, One of my uh, favorites. But I want to thank all of y'all for coming. I want to thank uh, Karin. Well, he's my co-host. I don't have to thank him for shit. But I want to thank the Lazy Crazy Crazy Cool. And I want to thank Trey for coming with his ghost face interpretation. But I want to thank the lazy, the ladies of Crazy Sexy Cool for coming in their in attire. Best. We appreciate y'all. They we put knew the, the niggas, sex we knew, in. We knew the niggas was going to show bomb. up like they showed up. We knew that was going to We happen. know niggas ain't shit. Except me. <laughs> I just say I appreciate your effort, Trey. I appreciate your effort. <laughs> hey. This is Trey gave us a scene. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so I'm I'm confused. He said I went out and bought a beater for this, but he didn't buy like a pajama. You want me to stand up? Listen, I ain't about to be short yes. print on this on this uh <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, Mike, look at me, Mike, look at me. Because like, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, like, I'm gonna, have to get, I'm gonna have to go get me an OnlyFans yeah. if I'm doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm in New York with some, this the with some gray crowd, You might as well give them something. I'm just saying. Come hey. on, come on. They paying for it. Catch me in the city. Hey, I got now. Nah, I got the homies on here. Catch me in the city with the gray sweatpants. You feel me? Who said no gray sweats? Why are we not wearing gray sweats? What is the protest against the gray sweats? Oh no, we all like, we we're pro gray sweats over here. Wait, look, look, look at me. Body. <laughs> look at me and be a body like I got on gray sweats. And, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, um, uh, I wanna so first right, of all, right, right. Like, first, line line these niggas up. Yo turn, yo turn, yo turn, yo turn. Right. Yo turn, yo turn, yo turn. Um, his ass ain't even get on, but happy belated birthday to Jordan. Uh, but on the real, I want to- my birthday coming up. When Cap you're season. You're a Capricorn. Oh, Trey. yeah, next Sunday. Okay, <laughs> um, I this is the last. I think we're the last show on the feed. Um, for 2021, Trey. I don't think I, you guys aren't doing growing up the same. As we before. dropping. We dropping. Okay, so that's the last show for 2021. Um, that, that'll be that'll still be on the first, right? It'll still be on the first. We dropped the first. We, yeah. we the first, we the so, first pod to roll out. <laughs> yeah. This we let so this is the, since this is the last show for 2020 for 2020. I want to say to y'all, wait, let me our get, bomb let me family, up. right? Get your glass, get a little toast. Listen, 2020 was a hell of a year, but some good shit yeah. came out of it. So for all y'all who've been rocking with us this year, we thank you. 
we hope that you're staying with us for next year. Like Amin said at the top of the show, most of us have only been here for what, six months? If that, like way more to come. We're just getting settled in. We're just getting started. We want to thank our producers. We want to thank Ben. We want to thank everybody behind the scenes who does shout all this. Shout out to Rob. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to, us, to our super producer, Rob. And just like salute to y'all for rocking with us. Cheers. I hope y'all got a little something at home. Um, anybody else want to say some words? before? Oh, for the home? last time in 2020. Uh, stop Don't give giving that, that white, white man, man yo. your money. That's right. <laughs> anybody else want to say anything as we close out? House Party 2 is not a classic. Wait, what's not? House Party 2 is not a classic. You're right. Anybody else? Can't yes, be where the money say, reside, where the hey. money reside, where the money reside, where the money hey. resides. That's what we have for Yo, 2021. Had a little laugh. Everyone, thank you to everyone that tunes in to Crazy Sexy Cool, that interacts with us on social media. We really appreciate all that shit. Keep it coming. Thank you. Right. All, and I will say this. I think I can say for the whole Bond family, we are all down. Like, hit us up. Talk to us. We're friendly sometimes. Karin's not. He'll block you. Um, but most of hey, us... y'all better be nice to the women in your DMs. If you do DM, I'll beat y'all the fuck me. up. Don't DM me. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't DM us. But, like, all of us, we want to hear from you. We want to respond. One thing about pods that I think people don't realize is that it can take, um, it can take a while for you to really it's find a so, you know, we're, we want to hear your feedback. We want to hear what you like, what you don't like, what you want to hear more of, what you like to see more of. And I, I'm making it my business. I want to I wanna do the rounds to everybody's different shows. Um, Karin already did Crazy Sexy Cool. I was I'm so thrilled that you ladies joined us tonight. I haven't been on the OG show in a while. So, like, I do love that all of us just bounce around back and forth. So we're going to do some more of that in 21. Um, Amin, you are, you are the... Uh, unofficial official MC of all things bomb so i'm gonna let you have the final word for tonight Yo, i know you're every, yeah everybody have a safe and happy new year and l get drunk as hell on the 31st <laughs> and <laughs> keep listening Safely. to our podcast <laughs> but everybody yo I, honestly yo we're going into 2021 with positive thoughts only that's that's the the name of the game I know 2020 fucking sucked. It doesn't matter. Now we're going to 2021 and it may be exactly the same as 2020, but we're going in there with positive thoughts. So maybe that's going to change stuff. Amen. Oh, Listen, Georgia. We, we didn't if you break know up. anybody in Georgia, tell yes. them to go vote. Go Please vote. 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 And, vote, baby. And also, also, <laughs> you have to vote for both of them. We I'm need trying to, to give vote them for Warnock to you. and also. Yes. Both. Yes. And also, also, shout out to the chat. This question is very important. Meek, did you get your superpower? I haven't had the chance to try it out yet. So <laughs> when she we said that, I, I've cut we off my TV. Yet. I cut my TV off. Uh -huh. I don't know yet. Okay. But maybe in so? 2021, if y'all feel a rumbling, just know. <laughs> hey. Meek's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to tell the truth and only the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, no. we'll see you in New York in a minute, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the blink of eye, Sunday. I'm, right. I'm, I'm looking at my boroughs right now. <laughs> you still haven't found a place? That's a sideboard conversation. Okay. Good night, y'all. Yeah, Thank y'all for joining us. Um, we'll see y'all on 21. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. What we got to do? Thank you. Rob. Rob's going to close us out.